In this video, we're going to be photographing my Impusia fasciata. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood, and welcome to this video. Now, if you're subscribed to the channel, you would know from the last video that I unboxed a new praying mantis, an Impusia fasciata. I don't know if I'm getting that right, so from now on, we shall call him Twiglet. So I'm going to photograph Twiglet now. This will be the very first time that I photograph this particular praying mantis. Now the others, I know what their temperament like, I know what they're going to do. This one, I don't. So for this particular photo shoot, I'm going to go with the trim macro flash because it will enable me to keep my movement quick because we're not going to be locked on a tripod because I don't know if he's going to run around. I don't know if he's going to sit there. So for this first shoot, we are going to be using the trim macro flash plus it has TTL. So I don't have to worry about exposure. So I've gone into the garden, I've picked up some corn and some grass. And looking at these and looking at him, because he is small, I'm thinking that the grass might be better, but I like the look of the corn. Which one should we do? Let's go with the corn. We'll go with the corn. Okay, I'm just move my camera out of the way. But it does have a couple of what look to be dandelion clocks on there. I'm just going to take those off so that we have a clean stalk of corn because that way I don't have to edit them out in Photoshop afterwards. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the leaf. Don't want that part. So we want just the corn. It looks like something's took a dump on it because I've got to take the poo off. So if someone said today you'd be waking up taking insect poo off a stack of corn. I wouldn't have believed them, but here we are. And that's that done. All right, so weapon of choice for this video is again the Canon 650D and the Canon 100mm f2.8 ISL series macro lens. So my flash of choice is the Yongnuo YN24EX. And we have Jason Canning's custom diffuser set on here, okay? So because we're using this flash, we know we want to be at 1 200th of a second on our shutter speed. I'm gonna start with an F16. We, uh, we're holding up quite well on the F16, even though it's a little bit soft because of the diffraction, but we've got a little bit extra sharpening in and it seems to be working okay. And we're at ISO 100. We're going to set our ratio up, the power coming from this flash head here, and we'll use this one as a fill flash. I'm going to set it up so that, if you see there, that one's roughly in the middle. This one's a little bit higher up. Okay, point them in a little bit. And then I can come to my ratio on here and put it to 1 8. So I'm just going to test that now. Yep, so you can see there, my ugly finger now, but you can see there how on the one side it's brighter than the other. Now I'm going to bring it down to one quarter power. So because we're on TTL, I don't know what power this is actually at. But what that will do is whatever power this flash head is at, this flash head will only be one quarter power of what that one is. So in fact, let's put it down to one half power because that's that's what we used on our speed lights on our Prey Mantis standoff image. So whatever power this will be at, because that's going to be TTO, that's through the lens metering, adjust the power appropriately that's needed, then this flash head will set itself to half power. Now I have been requested to do uh, a video on the settings for this flash, and I will be doing one of those, but it's going to take a few weeks, okay? So that's our flash. So now we are going to deal with our corn. Let's break him off. Put them into my memo clip holders. Bang, like that. And I want him to be roughly vertical as possible. Okay. And then we have to deal with the background. Now we used that in the last video, wasn't it? So we don't want to use that again. So what I'm going to do is, let's look at that one. I think we don't want that one. No, we'll try that one. 
Got a blue, it's a nice blue. A yellow. And we'll go with those. Let's put those away now. So if you are interested in getting hold of my backgrounds, you can purchase my textures from my website, link in the description below. And I'm going to set these up onto a memo clip holder. You see there, one memo clip holder will hold up one A6 background. And I'm going to set these up so that I can quickly grab them because again, we've never photographed Twiglet. So we don't know what his temperament is going to be like. We don't know if he's going to try and run away. We don't know if he's going to sit there. We have no idea. So I want to be prepared to be able to swap backgrounds really quickly. Okay. So for the first one, I'm going to start with that background there. Okay. And the picture I'm, I'm envisioning is um, either at the top there or on the side somewhere. Again, we don't know what he's going to do. We don't know if he's going to be this side. We don't know if he's going to be this side. We have no idea what he's going to do. So that's why we're going with the mobile setup, which I call it the mobile setup. It means I don't have to use a tripod. We're on a fast shutter speed to freeze the action because we don't know what Twiglet is going to do. Right. So let's see if we can get him out of here. Okay, I've got him on a branch. Okay, so he's on there. Twiglet's on there now, and to my surprise, he's quite calm. He's quite calm. But he has like an head that looks like, like an alien, which I really find fascinating. So let's do this. <sighs> I've told you the settings. I'm going to tell you again. F16, ISO 100, 1 200th of a second shutter speed. That's my max sync speed. If yours is higher, set it higher. And again, we have the flash set to TTL with this head here being half the power of this one. Okay, I'm going to have to back off a bit. Let's go to one half magnification. Oh, beautiful. Just got to get him side on. I want him, I want a side profile. Okay. In fact, let's go to one to 1.5. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. He's a beautiful mantis, I must say. Okay, let's have a look at you again. And I'm focusing on his head. Okay. Right, let's try a different background. Okay. Oh, let's increase the power on flash. I'm going up by one stop on the flash power. Where are you, Twiglet? No, oh, he's having a clean. That's not how we want him, though, unfortunately. Stop cleaning yourself, Twiglet. Beautiful. All right, another background. He's not quite side on now. Let's turn him around. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. He's a gorgeous looking mantis, I must say. And he's a, he's a pink variety. Although I don't believe he gets pink until he's adult. So that's going to be something to look forward to. Okay. Have a background. He's cleaning himself again. I have to say, he's very calm. I thought he would be all over the place being a new prey mantis. He's not used to me, but he's very calm. Let's see if we get a head profile, shall we? I'm going to go to one to one on the magnification, and I'm going to try and get a headshot of him. Yeah.
Now, you see that one? You see you're losing him in the background, it just doesn't work. So as you know, we've got this head set at half the power of this one. The further away I get from him, the less effective that shaping of the light is, which is why if you want to come further away and get a really good body shot with the corn, you would have to switch to two speed lights. I'm not going to do that. So, um, you know, the further away you get, the more flat the light gets. But again, I'll cover that when we do a video dedicated on Twin Macro Flash. Beautiful. The main thing we found out is that Triglet is very friendly, which is a, a very nice thing to know. Very nice indeed. Anyway, that's Twiglet. Very quick setup there. Very quick macro photography session with Twiglet. We uh, we want him to grow up a little bit now. We want him to be as big as the uh, corn itself. We can get a really nice image of him. So I'm just going to put him back. There we go. So that is Triglet and a very quick photo shoot because everything seemed to just line up and work. So that was great. Here are my three favourite images from this photo shoot, all edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. We are going to be photographing Twiglet again, I'm sure, as he grows up. We're going to be doing a lot more with Twiglet. Let me know if you're looking forward to that. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video. My name is Stuart Wood, and as always, I'll see you on the next video. In this video, we're going to be photographing my infused... In this video, we're going to be photographing my new infused... Okay, now I can't say this Latin is... <sighs> okay. In this video, we're going to be photographing my infused fasciata. Fasciata. It's beauty, what? Now I'm going to say it as the computer said it, so it sounds like I'm professional. Impusa fasciata. Fasciata. In this video, we're going to be photographing my Impusia fasciata. Straight out of the box, okay. We know we're going to be F2 F200, Jesus. I'd like to see the image off that. And then we just need to clean this up. There we go. So the further I get away from him, the less effective the... Um... So as you know, we've got this... 